Hi folks, my name is Brian and this is the second video in my series on converting an Epson P600 printer into a direct-to-garment printer. Now, fair disclosure, I've not done this before, so this could be a little adventurous and I'm working with open source documentation. Now, I have taken existing videos and converted them into a list of steps to follow. These have been shared on OpenDTG.com. Now, I don't happen to have a plastic tray with which to store these, so I'm going to recycle a um, cardboard box from Amazon. I'm just going to throw it on the, tra cha on the floor. So first things first, we need to remove the front tray. And throughout this process, what I'm going to do is um, probably going to work with my back to the camera for most of this. But I'm going to, well actually, you know what, I'm going to start a second camera using a GoPro here. And I'm using a battery pack to power my GoPro. So make sure that's working. So we're going to take this front tray off. Let's see. So we need to remove this tray and we need a screwdriver for this. So you will need some different things with which to work on this printer. And what you want to do is just come in here and you can simply pop these loose and that'll pull this tray off. Okay. So next we need to go to the back of the printer. And we need to remove the paper feed tray, which is this piece here. And again, we're going to use the same technique. So I'm not going to film it, but you can just put a put a screwdriver on one side and this will pop loose. All right. Now I've already removed the blue tape, so remove the screw on the left of, of here. So, I'm going to use a tool for this, and I'm going to remove both screws in the back. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little plastic tray that I have handy. And there are some more screws at the top of this. Basically there's four screws on the back that you need to remove. And there is a third screw in the middle here that needs to come out. Just hang on to all your screws. All right, so this should just pop off. And you do want to save this. You do not need the other pieces. And then these side pieces will come right off. And again, you want to save these. And then you want to remove all the silver screws you can see. Okay, so now we're going to take the front left corner off and we'll keep this and there's a corner on the other side that we should be able to remove as well, which we'll also keep. So now there are some screws that you need to remove and it's this one here and this one here and that one there. OK, 
So there are some LCD cables right here that need to be removed very carefully. Um, these are not really designed to be removed and replaced, so if you're rough with them, you will damage them, and then you will lose $700 by buying a new printer. So I'm just going to grab this with both hands and just carefully wiggle it out. And boom, there it is. <clears throat> and then I believe this will just come loose. Yep, there it goes. And there is a screw in the center here that you can't see because it's on the top. So we'll pull that and add it to our little collection. And again, if you, you'll need a flat tip screwdriver for some of this. Uh, there's screws on the other side that mirror the ones we took out. So you need to go ahead and just remove all three of these. So there's two that face out and there's one that faces up. And then we'll flip this back up so that it's easier to work with. And I'm not sure what that little piece is used for, so we'll throw it back in there. There are little tabs in the bottom okay so you guys can't see that so what what there are is there's little tabs here so the way this thing goes on is you just push these and that releases the top cover now once you've released that, you've still got some stuff to gently remove. There is a small cable here that needs to come out, and you need to just very carefully work this out. So it is twisted on here, and then what you do is you just carefully get this off here. And then we remove this and set it off to the side. We will need this again. It has the LCD and the buttons that run the printer. So we'll set it in a safe place. Do not touch the ink cartridge. Now, you can go ahead and there is a cable for the pump. And while you're here, you might as well remove it. And you do that by simply, there's a little tiny lever here that you need to free with your thumbnail and then this will just pop right out okay and you want to be careful with this stuff it's really easy to break it okay so the top cover should just come off at this point but we've got to get these cables out and you just thread them back through there and then this comes off and I don't think we need this again but I'm gonna set it someplace safe and treat it with respect like it's important. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get to the bottom of the printer and we want to be really careful with all of our little cables and all of our little wires. So we're going to flip the printer over and we're going to start taking stuff off. So first we're going to remove this paper exit tray that we will never use again. And we're just going to flip it in the corner here and we'll throw it away later. So the basic premise here is that, uh, and we've got some little piece that came off, all of these paper parts have to come out so we can cut the middle of this out so a shirt can go back and forth. Okay, and then we have Let's see. So now that we've got that out, we're going to flip it back over. And there are some things that need to be done. 
So there are some screws like this that need to come off. And we will use those again, so you don't want to destroy them. There's another one back here. And I do this a little bit differently because I know that this becomes a problem later. I'm going to go ahead and remove the ground wire screw. And I'm going to just use my GoPro here. This screw here holds a bunch of these little wires in. And that will be a problem later. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove it while I'm in there. And then I'm going to spin this around. And I've got a bunch of stuff over here that I can't get to. So first things first, I'm going to pull this wheel off. And as with everything else, be gentle with it. I'm going to throw it in my maybe it'll be used again box. And then I need to get this off. So in order to do this right, <clears throat> I need to take the Wi-Fi off. So we'll do a close-up here. And Wi-Fi has a screw from the top that, that holds it in. And another screw back here on the main board that holds it in. And there's some wires that are snipped into it. And then there's another screw down here in the middle of it, or on the back side of it, that you need to get to. Now, I have an extension on my screw gun, but I'm still having a hard time getting in here. There we go. And at this point, I pretty much have my Wi-Fi free, and we're set this off. It won't run without the Wi-Fi, even though you never want to print a t-shirt with Wi-Fi. All right. So now we have a little yellow connector here that we need to remove. And then there's some connectors over here that need to come off. And you want to be really careful with these so that you don't damage anything. So I've got those loose. And now I need to undo these. And we're going to hold these to the side because they are special. And we'll come back to that later. But what we want to do now is just pull off this uh, sensor wheel. And we want to remove this. That's not special. And we want to carefully remove this ribbon cable. And then this should just come out. All right, so there's some little pieces on the back side of it. And the way this snaps in is it just snaps up and out. And you want to be real careful with all these little pieces because they are critical pieces of the printer. And then I'm going to insert my fingers back here. Uh, ah, I've got a little C-clip on this one. So I'm going to stand this up and make it... Well, no, I'm not going to stand it up because it won't stay. So I've got a C-clip here that's got to come out. And that's relatively easy. We'll throw it in our little box of parts. And then this will come right off. I don't know if we use it again, so just save it and treat it like it's important. Now this wheel has another C-clip on it. Oh no it doesn't, it's just on here tight. Boy, that's on there real tight. There it goes. Well, we got one part off. <clears throat> so, this little wheel that separated is um, an optical encoder, and you need to set it somewhere real special so nothing happens to it because the optical encoder is how the printer knows how much the wheel has moved. 
And you just want to set it out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to cut these because the printer has ink in it and I don't feel like spraying these all over by trying to release them. Okay, and then I'm going to work these out. All right. And hopefully not much will run out, but I'm going to get a paper towel just in case. All right. So now we want to remove the screw here where the next to where the ink hoses were and this little clip will come off. I don't think it's free yet. No. Nope. So we want to turn the printer around and now you want to remove the... And be careful not to lose these two screws that came out of the motor. A little silver screw here that's down inside the printer that needs to come out. And this holds the base on. So we'll pull that off. Okay, so we should be able to remove the base at this point. So what I'm going to do, make a little space here. And the base should just pop off. So I'm looking for a safe place to pick it up. Maybe not. Uh, so there's one more screw hiding down in here, and it's underneath where the Wi-Fi thing was, right there. And it was on the list, I just missed it because I thought it was covered by something else. And there's another one on the other side in the same spot. And you just got to try and do this trial and error if you don't rip on things. Just work gently. Alright, so I think that should free us from the base. There's a uh, tube here that's used for the uh, vacuum pump or the pressure pump, and I'm just going to pop that loose. All right, so this side is free, and the other side is free. So at this point, we can pick it up and we'll just scoot this over. And we're going to save this. We'll come back to it later. There are parts in there that we need. We're going to work on this automatic sheet feeder, which is the paper feed assembly. And again, we want to be careful to hang on to our motor screws because we are going to put those back in just as soon as we get this motor loose, which isn't yet. So we'll just leave it in there for the moment. There's a little skinny ribbon cable here that you're just going to work out. And then there's a large one that you're going to work out, okay? And we're going to take off this piece here. And at this point, we're just going to break it to get it loose. Now, there's some wires that we want to free from here. So we'll just free these and that goes away. And again, watch for these little tabs on these connectors that hold them together. And just use your fingernail to get in there. So you can gently take them apart. So there is a screw on the top. Okay. 
In fact, all of these eventually come off. So we'll go ahead and take them out. Okay. Remove three wire connector. White tape by motor. So three wire connector is this. So we're just going to get all these ribbon cables free of this automatic sheet feeder and we're going to be very very gentle in the process because we do not want to damage anything and we want to make sure all these cables are free. Because there are no replacement parts for these parts. Remove the ground wire from the automatic sheet feeder. So that's on this side. And we'll throw that in our parts box. Might need it again, might not. So in the front, we're going to need a stubby screwdriver. There are some screws. So let me go get a stubby and I'll be right back. I don't happen to have a stubby screwdriver, but I do happen to have a right angle screwdriver for working on embroidery machines. And I can turn this into a stubby screwdriver like that. So I'll put that where you guys can see it in front of the GoPro. And so what I'm gonna do is turn this to where it is possible for you guys to see what I'm actually working on. So there are screws right here that need to come out. And you want to be really careful not to damage anything in here while you're working. Because there are lots of sensitive things in here. The belt is sensitive, there's an encoder strip that's sensitive. You just want to watch what you're doing. So those are those two. So we'll pop this back out. So now we'll turn this again. And we'll switch back to the automatic screwdriver. If you can't get in there because it's small, you may need a smaller screwdriver to get in here and remove these screws. Just keep chugging away at them. Take this off, save it. So there's a screw directly down here that needs to come off. Should be one on the other side if Epson is least bit consistent. So it's starting to come loose. So we'll just pop some of this stuff out. There are lots of little pieces here that are going to get recycled. So what I'm doing now is fishing these little metal brackets that we unscrewed earlier out. I'm trying to figure out what's holding this in. Okay. So behind this ribbon cable
All right, so you just want to carefully work this thing out. So there's a piece of white tape here. Ah, that's right. So this is the infamous white tape that hides a screw under it. Ah, yep, that's right. There was a screw under there. All right, and there is our automatic sheet feeder. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this stepper motor. You never know when you can use a good stepper motor. And I'll just add it to our little box of goodies and put the automatic sheet feeder off to the side. And there's a little switch here. And again, you want to just be careful removing the connectors. And then we're going to pull this little switch off, add the screw to our collection. Okay, so this comes out, it's recyclable. And then what we want to do is carefully work our wires out. These little clips will unclip. And then we want to undo all these ribbon cables. Again, they're all labeled. You just want to be very careful doing this and all these wires come off. What you don't want to do is just grab a fistful of these and rip because you will damage the connectors. And they're not really designed to come in and out. And what you're trying to do is not mess the contacts on them up. All right. So now I'm going to take all my little connectors and I'm just going to set them up in there and get them out of my way. And now all of these are color coded so they can just be undone. Again, be careful not to damage the wires or the boards because there are no do-overs. You can't call Epson and say, hey, I was taking your printer apart and I made a boo-boo. Can you send me another piece? They go, ha-ha, buy another printer. All right, so now we're going to take and set that off to the side. And there are some screws in the back that we want to undo. So there, there, there. Can't remember if that comes out or not, but there's one there. Another little piece of offending tape that needs to come off. Little plastic piece that goes bye bye. And on the other side, uh, pretty much the same thing. There is a screw around the side here that needs to come out. Epson uh, tends to do a lot of symmetry. Now this goes into the heat sink, so it's a little bit bigger. All right, and there we have the main board, which we'll now set off to the side for more fun later. Okay. So at this point, we can go ahead and stand this up, and these screws can all come out. These two, these two, these two are what are holding the um, main board in. And for what we're doing, they need to come out. should have mentioned earlier that 
when you open this case, you void whatever warranty you thought you had. And I'm going to watch my ribbon cables, but I'm going to go ahead and turn this over on the back. And before I get too far, I'm going to make sure I didn't get any of my other ribbon cables and that none of my ribbon cables are going to get mangled or mauled. There are some screws on the bottom here that need to come out in order for this to be done. Add them to our little collection. just gently looking to see what I'm hung up on. Ah, there's a over here by our motor which we need to take out anyway. So what I'm hung up on is this screw here and I'm going to undo this clip so I can take the motor out and then I'll show you what we do with the two screws that we saved when we took the motor out. So I'm going to use a flat tip screwdriver. I'm just going to get in here and pop this little clip open. And then I'm going to gently take the motor out. Again, there are no spare parts. Work carefully. And now I'm going to put these screws back in the motor because they are very special. So, and I'm going to use a screwdriver because again, these are very, very special screws. You don't want to mess them up and you don't want to lose them. As RuPaul says, don't fuck it up. She says it better than I do, but you get the idea. Now I'm going to set my little golden motor off to the side in my box full of fun. And I'll go back to using the butcher knife. All right, now we're going to keep this because we're going to trim it down and make special out of it. Um, basically, we're going to cut it here to protect the high voltage stuff, but that's a project for later on. Okay. Now let's see where we are in the play. Let's see. Guard. Uh, move the sensor. We did that. Open the clips on the back of the wire thing and unplug. Actually, this might be the sensor here that it's referring to. Yeah, that actually is the sensor it's referring to. I don't see how they expect to unplug that, so we'll just go back this way with it. And we'll add it to our box of fun. Now, there are a bunch of little connectors on the bottom here, and what we basically want to do is open these up. And the easiest way to do this is with a screwdriver. You just gently insert your screwdriver in here and then just twist and it will pop these loose. So we're going to come over and some of these will come out and some of them won't. So for the ones that will come out, and I think that's all I need to do with those. So we got a little ribbon cable. Save it. I don't know what it went to, but it, all the little ribbon cables are special. So there are some black plastic, there's some screws here, here, and here that need to come out. And what we're working on doing is removing the paper feed mechanisms from this printer. We've got to give it space if we ever expect it to print on t-shirts. And all this has to come out. Gently and not so gently. It'll come out. And then these little clips here will push to the left and then the springs come out. All of this stuff can be recycled. And if it can't be recycled, that's the city's problem to get rid of. And 
and these little white things can come out too. And that just snaps out and again. So I'm going to turn the printer on its face so I can get access to it. And then that's trash. Actually it's recyclable so I shouldn't keep calling it trash. These will snap out of here. I have to break some pieces to get them out, but these little clips come out and I'm sure Epson spent a fortune trying to perfect these. And I'm sitting here breaking them out, but they aren't going to do me any good in my goal of using this as a t-shirt printer. So if you just insert the screwdriver on one side and, and pry, it'll snap the little plastic piece and out they'll come with a minimum of fuss and effort. There's some kind of little light grease on these, but yeah, that's not my issue. And all these little metal pieces may be sharp as heck, so watch your fingers. Okay. So, at this point, I've gone off the, off the chart here. Um, I'm not following the instructions in Andy's video. I'm doing this in the way that makes sense to me. Your mileage may vary. So, um, at this point, what we've got to do is there is, are some screws up in here that need to come out. And again, I'm going to attempt to show them. So there is a screw right here that has to come out. And again, you just want to be real careful with this. And save that. I don't know what it does, but I promise it's important. Everything else in here is important. Ow! Those things bite. So there is a screw that is down in here. Gosh, I just love that my GoPros lose their batteries. So I've had another GoPro split on me tonight while it was charging so irritating. I just bought two more of them because I've had the same failure with both of these GoPro Heroes where the batteries just split while they're charging and fail. I'm going to be mad if it catches on fire. So there's a little wire down in here and I'm basically trying to get this screw out. my little collection. And I need a bigger screwdriver. I'll be right back. Okay, so I uh, wound up being saved by a um, extension screwdriver and I just put a long Phillips extension on it. And let's see if we can get to what we need to get to. Yeah, it reaches. There's one, there's one way back here in the capping station. Oh, you got to be kidding me. So it'll fit through there. Oh, there's a little piece of plastic that we're just going to have to break. So there are basically three little screws back in here that have to come out. Oh, 
Uh, not so sure about that one. Uh, put that one back in because I just don't see that as being. That holds the stupid capping station together. All right. So there's another screw back here that comes out. And again, we'll just save all these little screws and get these loose. And as before, we want to just very carefully remove the little cables. Some of this just has to be here where it is. This controls the print head, so it'd be nice to it because it ain't going nowhere. So, that's our capping station that's loose, but I don't think it's ready to come out. So let me check the instructions again. We'll occasionally refer to these. Apparently ahead of the curve here. There is a, a screw here that needs to come out. And each time you remove a screw at this stage, you want to just see if it gets you anything. Because if it does, you want to take it out. That piece goes away, never to be seen again. Pull that out of the way. I see what's holding this in. So there's a bar across here that is inhibiting the capping station from coming out. So we're going to remove the screws to get this bar out. And being as gentle as possible, we're going to get this upside down, watching our cables the whole time because the cables are the most precious thing on this body right now. I don't want to crush any of them, but we're going to get rid of some stuff in here. So these are held in by a little origami-like mechanism. So there's some screws on the side here that need to come out. There's one from the top that I don't see how I'm going to get to it. So there's another one down in here. And these hold this, this paper assembly in here. The reason I say I don't see how I'm going to get to it is the ink station sits on top of this. And I don't see that coming out right now. There we go. So now we're going to use our encouragement lever, also known as a screwdriver. Watch fingers, these things bite. And we're just going to encourage all this stuff to come out. So there's a little C-clip in here and we can just encourage that to come off too. It doesn't particularly matter where the piece goes because you ain't going to use it again.
But if you want to save them because it makes you feel better, go right ahead. There are a bunch more of these little C-clips in here that are holding this thing together. And we can probably just pry them off one at a time, which is easier. What I'm trying to do is take this assembly out without destroying everything holding it in. Although that may actually be simpler. So there's another screw on this side. You don't want to bend anything up, but you can't do a whole lot of damage to the plastic parts at this stage. And again, this is all recyclable. We got some little more feed rollers in here that need to come out. There's actually a whole feed assembly in here that needs to come out. And there's a little spring that seems to be holding it in. And out it comes. And again, all this stuff is recyclable, so just watch your fingers when you take it out and make a little pile of it. these come out this whole area is going to get cut anyway so yeah that's not going to come out until oh, so that can just stay there push down on this lever and gently move. Well, maybe not. Okay. So we've still got some guts inside the center of the printer, and that's what we're working on at this point. There isn't really a right or a wrong way. You just don't want to damage anything. All right, there's another little center, center rod out. So I'm going to flip it back on its back because I, I really need access to this bottom piece here. 
And again, I'm watching my, my cables. What I'm trying to do is work this loose and I see what's holding it in. Ah, uh, there's a screw right there that's holding it in. I don't see how to get to it because that doesn't move. We'll take this out. If we need that again, so I'll just save it. Okay, so what I want to do is get this out, which is my capping station. And I, I'm mechanically clear at this point except for the fact that I'm getting ink everywhere. And that's why I want to get it out. So there is apparently a screw that I did not get from the top. So let's flip it back over and see what's going on. Yeah, I need to get this release and slide. Should not be having any resistance to the head moving, but I am. <sighs> and I'm trying to figure out why. This little clip can come out, uh, except it's got a screw holding it in, and I need the print head over first. All right, I just had to lift up and gently move that over, and then there's a screw down here that needs to come out, and this will free my capping station. Set that in there. Oh yeah. This little clip comes out, we'll save that. Alright. Upside down we go again. 
one while we were doing that another piece decided to jump out which is good because all these pieces need to come out in order to be worked on not sure we're done with that one so I'll leave it up here cable check it's in a safe spot now we have access to more screws that need to come out So there's another screw over here that needs to come out. Basically, we're trying to get the center guts out of the printer as gently as possible. which of these C-clips are needed and which of them aren't, so I'm saving them all. And I think this is one of the ones I actually need, it is. So what we want to do is very gently get these bearings loose. Push all that to the side, set this someplace very safe. That's our paper feed roller. So the trick to these is there's a little tiny dot that you push in with a Phillips screwdriver and then the whole bearing assembly will turn. At some point it will release. And this side it's held in by a little spring and again I don't think we need this piece so we'll just set it over there my head away from what I'm working on because I'm afraid I'm going to damage it. So we'll just move it back to that side and just let it sit there. And then we can get that out. And I'm trying to do this in such a way as I don't break these little bearings because I think they might actually be interchangeable. All right, 
right, so at this point, I think we've got this thing stripped down. I'm gonna move my print head back out of the way, trying very hard not to touch it or do anything mean to it. I'm gonna take another little bearing out. Again, I'll save it. Now I'm gonna check my instructions and see where we're at. There's also a little piece in here on the print head that needs to be unplugged and it's a really tiny screw. So we'll just use the little tiny screwdriver. And it ain't small enough. Be right back. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got a little teeny tiny screwdriver here and I'm going to take, there's a cover on the bottom of the print head that needs to be removed in order to unplug a little sensor that's under here. And the sensor is just really tiny. So we're going to unplug it, take the sensor out, put the little board back in, or put the little cover back on. And it's uh, some kind of a little sensor that Epson uses that we don't need. All right. I think we're good. I think that's it. So I'm going to see why this isn't out yet. I don't think this needs to come out, to be honest. I do need a pair of pliers. Clips in here, and I'm going to push the print head away from where I'm working. There's some little clips that need to come out. Easiest thing to do is just bend them until they break. Little piece of, it's just some little pieces of junk in here. There we go. So this little clip here needs to come off. And then beyond that, we're pretty much done with that plate. So I'm pretty sure that completes the disassembly. And now we need to do some cutting. And we need to be really careful how and where we cut in order to avoid issues.